So we're still on the open beta here. We're literally leaving off. No, starting off where we left off. This is what happens when you don't sleep well. So we're going to do this here. Uh, let's take a look at our map. We are in Kingman. Right here. In Arizona. Right on the west coast of it. And we're going to be heading over to uh, good old Las Vegas. Is it La no, it's not Las Vegas. We're going to Flagstaff. We're going directly east. Just a short little trip. What makes this one, I suppose, special is that we're uh, we're hauling some big shit. I got a big load. That's what she said. Okay, enough of the cringy shit. And I think I'm getting escorted. There's thunder, lightning. It's also 4 o'clock in the morning. No, it's not. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. We should be there by 4 o'clock in the morning. Police escort. So of all my time playing this game, I've never had a police escort. I mean, I've been escorted for the police when I was younger because I was doing things I wasn't supposed to be doing, but that's another story for another day. Look at all those people just hanging out in the rain. I do that. So that's realistic. I don't think I can go too fast. Not because there's a cop in front of me, but because he's literally taken me to the promised land. Look at that. I feel special. I'm checking it all out. And I gotta make sure that I got enough room to turn. I should have went left first. A little bit left, but I should be good. Because I know what I'm doing. Yeah, right. And I'm being escorted by the police in the back. There's just cops all around me. Can't say that's something I'm too used to in recent memory. Thank God for that. I don't remember if there's a mod or a way for me to have it so I can have interior cabin light. Whoa, why did he just stop like that? Oh, please wait for the rear escort. Yeah, I've literally never done this before. The interior cabin light. I wish there was a way to have a little light on. I mean, generally in real life, you wouldn't do that in a way. But some of the bus simulator games I've played, they do do that. They do do. Just a little bit of a light so you could see a little better. But eh, this is good enough. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole trip. We'll just see how it goes. But with the storm, nighttime, the police escort, this definitely brings a little flavor. I just still can't get over how much I love this game. I know I keep going on about it all the time. It just keeps getting better and better. Not necessarily the game itself, just things that I learned of the game. Like, I didn't know you could do this. I didn't think there was actual police escorts where they shut off parts of the road. Oh, truck coming. I'm going pretty slow here. Normally, I could see how fast I'm going. In oh, there it is at the 60 kilometers an hour. Yeah, that is pretty slow. But yeah, I was looking at some other steering wheels. I've got the Logitech G9... 29... G... Oh my god, I can't even remember. Which G thing do I got going? G29? Logitech G29? That stereotypical PlayStation steering wheel everybody and their mother has. And I, I really like it. I have no need to upgrade. But I have to admit, if I could get... Mm, just a little wee bit... More authentication, immersion. Does that even make sense? I think I might appreciate it a little bit more. I think it's the steering wheel sensitivity, or um, the feedback. Not so much the feedback, the tension, sorry. When you turn the steering wheel. If I make a sharp turn, it's really hard. 
Uh, I don't know if that's what dampening is. I don't know what any of these terminologies mean. I want it so it's a little bit more stiff just doing the basic movement like this. See my steering wheel a little bit moving? I'm doing that on purpose, obviously, back and forth. I want it so it feels a bit more rugged. But without it affecting when I make a big turn. Does that make sense? Yeah, there's a lot of trucks. I can really feel the tension here because I gotta watch because I got a wide load. I mean, that's a... Literally just that. I was thinking to myself, how come there's... This is how tired I am. So we saw lightning. And I'm like, why is it so quiet? Why is the lightning not making any noise? Think about it. On four hours of sleep. Lightning doesn't make sound. I mean, maybe if you got hit by it. It's thunder. That's how tired I am. My brain's like, I see the lightning. Where's the sound? They usually go hand in hand, but not always. Especially with heat lightning, you won't get any thunder. Generally. Just a little bit of rumbling sometimes, but... Yeah, so this is the first time... In American, I almost said American History X. Wow. Really need to go back to bed. In American Truck Simulator history. That I am actually sticking with the beta over the, you know, retail current version of the game. I'm not saying that I'm feeling anything different. It's just it's that smooth that I have no need to go back. I'm moving forward. I just wish I could go quicker than 85 kilometers an hour, but... What can you do? I've seen some of these trucks before in real life, not too often. Where they do like an escort like this, but do they really... block off a bunch of off-ramps and shit? I don't know, man. Maybe they do just temporarily for a couple of minutes until you pass. So, like, those cops at that off-ramp that we just saw, maybe, like, now they're gone. Because I've, I've gone by now, right? So it's, like, just to make the trip a little bit smoother. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Oh, yeah, okay, I got the escort behind me. I mean, that part makes sense. Because sometimes the the load that you're carrying is so wide, it literally goes into the other lane. Like, mine is... You can see it from my uh, mirrors. Yeah, I just wish we had interior lights. We might have them again. I just may not have come across them. I also want to check out the International 9900i. That newish truck that came out a couple weeks ago. I want to be able to get into that. Oh, oh, oh. I could feel the rumbling. I was off to the side of the road. I think those are designed to keep you awake in case you're falling asleep and you start drifting. I wonder how many lives have been saved because of that. Holy macaroni. The hell was the point of that? Yeah, see? I think, well, he's not blocking the road. He's, it's just more monitoring, I guess. But, I mean, all the way across, like, a couple of hundred kilometer trip, would they really do that? Because this is a fairly big trip, like, if this was real life. Do they really have state troopers throughout the entire state? I'd be curious to know how that truly works. I'm so tired again. Didn't even 
realize it stopped raining. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so just a nice short little video. It's gonna say driving in the storm, but I think that literally lasted just a minute or so. The lighting is really nice too. Because I wanted to mention that before I forget. In the last beta, when they came out with the 1.4, oh. The lighting was so unnatural and weird. It was terrible. I, it was unplayable to me. That whole beta. And then when it officially released, obviously, got fixed. And it was great. Yes, yeah, so I'll have to check out that truck after. Let's see if I like it. Add it to the collection. So, like, right now I'm flooring it. There we go. You can really feel the weight in this game. It's amazing. But again, I wonder if a new steering wheel would really bring an extra level of immersion or not. I mean, already this wheel is fantastic. I wish it was a little bit bigger. The wheelbase, not much, just a little bit. It's nowhere near the size of a real steering wheel. I'm not saying I would need one. See that? See how I moved a little bit? It's a good thing I did that, or the side of my trailer at the top right there, look in that side mirror. I would have clipped the truck. And that would not have been good. And I was thinking of getting a shifter, and then I was like, ah, that's more wires I gotta connect to. Another peripheral I gotta install. Might be fun, but I don't know. I think people would agree with me that if I got a shifter with my current Logitech G29, that would likely increase the immersion level more than if I just upgraded to another steering wheel and was still driving on automatic. I think people would agree with me on that. Because shifting with standard is arguably just as big as the actual steering itself. Front escort vehicle is going to warn other drivers. Adapt your speed to avoid... I didn't even see the message. To avoid collisions, I guess. So this is where... I wish he wasn't there, but whatever. Yeah, see, kind of go... Oh, look at him waving me over. Kind of go off to the right a bit. So that when I turn left... I'm not bonking anything. Oh, what's taking the rear escort so long? I got shit to do. That's right, just hold up traffic. All that for a little home. I actually thought it was longer than that. We good? We're almost there. I am not parking this shit manually. You're crazy if you think that. This is just a drop and go, right? I know that part of the fun of this game is getting the jobs and making it more realistic. That's it. Just burn through the red light. Police escort, bitch. Move out of the way. However... I sometimes do the in-between difficulty for the parking. Generally not when I'm recording. Because I remember once it took me, what, 20 minutes to fucking park? Yeah, exactly. Nobody wants to see that shit. But this on itself can be a little bit of a challenge, making sure you don't, you know, clip your load. Man, yeah, this was actually a nice little change then maybe we'll go quickly check out the interior of that truck 
And then maybe I'll later today look into maybe getting that shifter. See, I'm driving a... Is it an 18 speed? Oh, jeez, I don't know. I'm not good with this stuff. An 18, but most of them are only like 6 or 9 speed. I don't remember. And you like pull on it or something like that. And then you can reshift again. It sounds complicated, so I don't know. I kind of botched this. I should have come in from this way first. Yeah, see this? This is the moment right here. It's the end and the beginning when you're grabbing the load and you're plopping your load. Yeah, so I could just take the easy way out, which I probably will. Are you fucking kidding me? Good, good, good. See? What? I am so confused. I'm so tired. Oh, fuck me. I have to bring it all the way in there. Oh, I'm going to clip it. Yeah, I did. See? This is where the game is, quote-unquote, um, difficult. Because how do you, like in real life, how would you rectify that? Are you kidding me? I got police escort, bitch. Should have had a biker escort and would have kicked his ass. So what we're going to do... Is I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> this is... Again, the challenge. These are just the parts I hate... to record though because it's not easy to do this shit but I've got my mirrors we've got them oh look at that mirror at the top right oh my god look at the left ah see I was so busy looking at the right I forgot to look at the left but that's okay that's part of the man that's a tight fit that's like yeah, this is not good. At this point, I'm just getting fucking annoyed. Like, I get the patience and all that, but... Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna fucking do this. Cocksucker. I swear to God, if that guy beeps one more time... I'll just plow right into him. I may not be able to deliver this. Nope. Holy fucking shit. Like, I know what needs to be done. It's just... I'm physically incapable of doing it. That's really what it boils down to. Holy fuck. No, obviously in real life this would have been terrible. Anyways, I'm not annoyed. I'm annoyed because this happened while I was recording. But these are the moments of the game that makes me appreciate it more. <laughs> excellent. Are you kidding? Really? That was considered excellent without how many times I bonked into it? Current? No, we're just going to continue. So that's done. What else could I do? Truck dealers. We're going to do... Oh. We're going to buy online. There it is. The 99. I just want to 
Oh yeah, it looks a little bit more like an old school truck. Let's just go inside. Okay. No window tinting. Because that tint at the top drives me fucking crazy. And it looks like we actually have a nice straight line here. Like it just looks good. Wow. Fifty one sleeper. That's what that would look like. Nice big sleeper. I'm just trying to sometimes I like to see yeah the back window, but whatever. We'll do yes. Yeah, it looks good. I really like that a lot. And then for the inside again, I believe maybe we could change a few things here. I mean, of course, I've got my, my steering wheels. There's a steering wheel similar to this in real life that I want to buy. Where's the chain? There's the dragon flame, but where's the chain steering wheel that I use? I guess it's not compatible with this beta or something like that. I'll have to see. Cup holder. That's not what I want. Front mirrors. that even make a difference? I can't even fucking tell. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's adding that little extra one there. Which, honestly, I don't need. I'm looking for the interior. Can we not change the interior? Great, I can add food on the ground. I don't remember where the hell it was. Bumper? No, not the bumper. You know, the interior of the goddamn thing. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here, honestly, because I, I feel like I have to rush through this, and I don't want to do it, but at least we know what it looks like on the inside, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to give this truck a shot, maybe in the next video. See how that goes, and go from there. So as always, if you like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. And if you didn't like the video, that's okay. Give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half. I twist it and I'll run it over with this truck. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care and maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.